What's up guys? It's the little crazy boy Aaron and today is we are continuing the Halloween marathon. Now if you're just joining this series, I will be reviewing every single Halloween film once a month until the new film this October. And today I'm not doing a movie review, I'm doing a book review. Um, I thought I would review the, fir the four novelizations they released for the first four films. And um, today I'm going to be reviewing the first book in that series of novelizations, and it is the novelization for the first film. If you've not seen the first film, I will warn you this book review will contain minor spoilers. So Halloween the Novel by Curtis Richards is basically just like the film. In fact, it's almost the exact same as the film. It's almost as if you were reading the script of the first film. This is because it's actually based on the screenplay for the film. There are like one or two differences. Um, it goes a bit um, deeper into the backstory of Michael and you know why he killed his sister. He had voices inside his head telling him what to do. Um, and it also goes into a bit more um, de in detail about Michael's time in the sanitarium. And I guess uh, that was pretty interesting, but again, I'd rather he have no explanation for killing because that's what makes it scary. It's also stated that he gets aroused when he looks at Lori's friends. Um, I'm not kidding about that. That's actually stated in the book. And um, I just thought that was pretty weird. I didn't really like that part. Now, I do understand that they have to give some sort of explanation, but because this is a novel, but I just feel like, like, like I said in my Halloween 2 review, I feel like if there's no explanation, that's what makes it scarier because um, there shouldn't be a reason for his madness. Um, Michael is scary because there is no explanation for it. I mean, like, anyone can be Michael Myers. That's the part that's scary about it. So, the rest of the book is basically the same as the movie. The ending is the exact same with minor tweaks. Um, instead of Loomis just discovering that Michael is gone, it's Lori and Loomis that both walk out and discover Michael is gone. But again, there's just minor tweaks to it, like the scene where Michael um, grabs that kid that was bullying Tommy. He actually grabs Tommy in the novel and then he just walks off. Um, so yeah, it's stuff like that that are just minor tweaks. But really, it's not worth it to get the novel because um, the movie, in my opinion, portrayed the Michael Myers in a much better way. Um, so that for, So for that reason, I do like the movie more than the novel, which is weird to say. Um, usually it's the other way around, but yeah, I, I enjoy the movie more because it um, just has a better interpretation of Michael Myers. So I'm going to rate Halloween the Novelization by Curtis Richards a 5 out of 10. So those were my thoughts on the novelization of Halloween. Um, yeah, I'm hoping all the other novelizations aren't like this, like they're the exact same as the movie, because that just wouldn't be very interesting to read and to constantly tell you guys, yeah, it's the exact same as the movie, but I hope they're not like that. But I do think they might be like that. But yeah, um, so my next review in the Halloween Marathon won't be a book. It'll be the Halloween 4 movie. Um, yeah, so... That'll come actually very soon, probably in a couple days, um, because I'm kind of behind with these uh, marathon reviews. I was actually supposed to review this book earlier in the month, like way earlier, but yeah, it's at the end of the month, so I'm kind of behind. I'm supposed to have my Halloween 4 review up before April hits, so I'll work on that immediately after this video. Um, and yeah, my next novel review will be at the beginning of April, if I work hard enough to make it out on time. Um, but that will be the Halloween 2 novelization by Jack Martin. Um, yeah, so I'll read this and uh, work on the review. So yeah, stay tuned for my review of Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Crazy Army.